Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the iPhone geocaching app made by Groundspeak. You may need a weather forecast, some good footwear, and you may well be exploring a jungle. So, this is what you need to do. Can we have some cheesy music please? Install the app, you'll find an intro there that you can have a play with. We found the ground speak app to be accurate within two meters. You'll get a warning sign saying it's dangerous but nothing more than crossing your road with a phone. What is dangerous is trying to get through all the nettles you'll probably find along the way. Shorts was a bad choice. So hit find nearby geocaches, they'll list them with the closest one first. Once you've clicked on the one you want to go to find, you'll find an option for a description or a hint. This is quite helpful if you've got children with you. Some of the harder rated ones don't have any hints at all. Kill the music. So the blue sonar will start flashing and off you go, you're away. As you get closer and closer, it will move in real time. You might find an object well hidden as small as this box or this is the smallest one we found which was a plastic bottle top. See if you can guess what's being held here. <laughs> Something you take to the doctors, I think. You'll then be asked to log your find and replace anything you take with something of equal value. There are two million of these things worldwide. Here's one one of my friends found earlier. One. Right. It's a meter from here. A meter from here. It's now it's on the Oh, well, so it's around here somewhere, isn't it? Look at the clue, the clue is the corner. Oh, the shoe! The shoe? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a shoe. Well, corner, Jay, what's the, where's the corner? Corner? Does it still say one metre? Shall we put something in the eye out? Oh, yeah. Or something, just in case. 